orders were to take the hotel, not evacuate civilians. Who decided this was a rescue op? We thought there was time, sir. Last time I checked, Turner was in charge, not you. Is he making the calls now? No, sir. It was my call. It's on me. It's on both of us. Yeah, well, right now, the last thing I should be worried about is if two of my best men can follow orders when we're on the verge of the biggest operation of the entire war. Let me remind you, this is the spearhead of our final drive to the Rhine. Got a whole damn forest to clear so the convoy can get through. So from this point on, I'll accept nothing less than your best. Now get your insubordinate asses ready to move out. It's been three weeks. We're in the Hurricane Forest now, clearing it so the convoy can get to the Rhine. I'm not proud to admit it's taken me this long to open your letter. If it's over, we're here for you, pal. I tried to warn you. College, let the man speak. She's pregnant. Whoa! <laughs> hey, that's huge! All right, Daniels is gonna be a daddy. Yeah. She was trying to let me know, but I wasn't ready to hear it. All right. I could use another cup of Joe. Come on, you mooks, let's give him some space. But I don't want coffee. Sure you do. I'm sorry I waited to tell you about the baby. I tried to the day you were shipping out, the day you took my picture. Everyone gather around. Where's Daniels? Davis is talking. Come on. Uh, on my way. The Hurtkin is dark and nearly impenetrable. Our mission is to take Hill 493. Whoever holds the hill dominates the valley. Now, for lesser men, this task might seem insurmountable. But our division boasts a proud history of firsts. In World War I, we were first to hold off a German attack, first to launch a counteroffensive, first across the Rhine. Nothing has ever stopped us, and nothing ever will. Lieutenant, tell them what we're all about. No mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great. Duty first. I can't hear you. No mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great. Duty first. That's right. Now get ready to move out. Duty first. Back to the old meat grinder. Amen, brother. We move out in five. Only the finest, eh? Thanks, buddy. How's it looking? See for yourself. Those guns aren't letting up. It's been non-stop. I heard you're hitting them today. That's the plan. Good luck out there. Thanks. Get over here! We're gonna split into two teams. Pearson, you'll head north over the bridge to reach the hill. I'll follow the river with a squad to guard your advance. Assembly point will be the base of Hill 493. See you soon. Yeah, you be careful out there. Hey, you too. Dad, it's a trap! We've been spotted! Come on! Get up, Brad. I know you better than anyone, so I know you still got fight in you. You can't give up. Not now, not ever. Paul? Krauts could be here any second. So show me what you're made of and get on your feet. I'm afraid. I won't make it. You got to, Red. Hazel needs you and so does your child. Now get up. I will. Of course you will, because you don't know the meaning of quit. I got faith in you, baby brother. Paul. Uh, Paul. Meet me at home, baby brother. Uh, Briggs. Oh, God. Then we take the hill together. Unless he bypassed the mill and went for it himself. He doesn't have the manpower. <laughs> it's never stopped him before. Said we wait here, 
And that's what we're gonna do. No disrespect, sir. But what if Styles was right and Pearson did go ahead? You let me worry about that, Daniels. My gut tells me something's off. If I made decisions based on your gut private, we'd still be on the boat at Normandy. Exactly. You heard how Pearson's platoon got wiped out at Kasserine? Looks like history's repeating itself. It better not. Huh. I want to know what really happened there. Yeah. Well, I don't have the guts to ask Turner. But I know someone who does. <laughs>